Hi, I'm Nilesh Maheshwari, founder of Emorphis Technologies. I'm part of Dela Leaders Club, Global IT Committee. Welcome to my DLC talk. So the topic of my DLC talk is Automation in Industry 4.0, Building the Digital Enterprise. So how the traditional uh, manufacturing happens is you sell the product, you uh, go for manufacturing, you plan the manufacturing, you execute the manufacturing, and then you uh, store it somewhere, which is warehouse, and then you ship, ship the product, and then the products are sent to the uh, uh, ship. After shipping, the, it is sent to the customer, customer pays and this is the cycle one loop is complete but when we are doing it at a massive scale then it requires a lot of efficiency and effectiveness in the overall process and that there comes the the, the new paradigm which is industry 4.0 so we are in the midst of a complete digital transformation on how we produce products now using industry 4.0 so when we talk about internet of things so let's talk a bit uh, uh, backward, what is the internet of people, which is social network? And then there is internet of things, which is connected sensors, sensors, machines, etc. And when we talk about internet of everything, then we are talking about connecting sensors, machine, people, place, GPS data, everything is interconnected. And that is where we are talking about internet uh, of everything. And this is all comes into industry 4.0. So let's take a step back and uh, look at the how the industrial revolution has evolved over the period of many, many uh, centuries. So industry 1.0 was when, when people used to uh, apply all the manual labor or they used to have animals for, for all kind of uh, uh, work. Then, so that particular time, then it came, uh, people started using some mechanical automation. And then uh, the industry 2.0, where the electricity came into play. So when, when, when electricity started being used in the manufacturing, it became like an assembly line of manufacturing. So efficiency improved. So when we talk about third industrial revolution, the more and more industry was going towards digitization, using more of electronics and computers. So, so the manufacturing was driven by the whole digital revolution around that and which has improved efficiency to a massive level. And now, after this, we have gone many steps further going into the industrial revolution, which is Industry 4.0. Here, everything, the concept is all about interconnectivity, real-time data connected with so many different uh, things, as I mentioned that uh, everything, like people, machines, sensor, place, GPS data, everything is interconnected and they are all in real time collecting data, the real analytics, real time analytics are being generated and this whole, whole thing is actually benefiting or improving the overall manufacturing effectiveness and efficiency. So let me introduce you a concept of cyber uh, physical systems or we can call it as cyber physical manufacturing which, which is a concept of industry 4.0 where where the real-time data is collected, the real-time analytics are being done. It is the complete uh, physical infrastructure is mapped to a cyber or cloud in, uh, cloud infrastructure. And, and this all, whole thing brings a lot of transparency in the manufacturing or any kind of operational uh, systems. So just to give you an example, uh, a very big uh, e-commerce company's warehouse is completely run by the robot. So uh, the robots are connected to inventory, they are connected to the floor plan, they are connected to the pick and place where the product is actually lying in the whole warehouse. So this brings in a lot of efficiency in the operations and there are, there are the chances of error and there is no manual operation. So uh, the industry 4.0 brings in a lot of new concepts. So we are moving from a wired uh, system to a wireless system which are all connected over via either uh, internet through Wi-Fi or through Bluetooth or through uh, cellular network. So if there are multiple uh, uh, factories of a, one organization, they, they can all be connected, they can all communicate, the, the machines can communicate with each other. And that is where machine to machine communication is coming into picture. Huge amount of data is uh, being generated and therefore uh, big data, uh, analytics, uh, BI, 
machine learning, all of these things are coming into play. Uh, uh, predictive maintenance and anal analytics is one of the very big uh, use case of uh, Industry 4.0. So uh, predictive maintenance and analysis brings in a lot of uh, efficiency in the operations wherein the, the, the manufacturing unit can predict any problem which can come in future. There is a lot of efficiency which is, which is getting introduced because of industry 4.0 in the asset tracking and optimization segment. So let's talk about some use cases of industry 4.0. So we can uh, we can implement an intelligence uh, intelligent supply chain uh, management solution, uh, wherein a complete visibility of the flow of all the goods, starting from the raw material till the uh, end customer, can be tracked. We can we can have a forward and backward integration with with our vendors, uh, and and gain a complete efficiency uh, in the in the in the supply, in the quality. And and we can we can ensure the quality delivery to the customer. So let's take another example uh, of predictive maintenance. So predictive maintenance gives uh, and industry 4.0 gives manufacturers a uh, ability to predict any failure before it has happened. So traditionally in manufacturing, uh, people used to ask what has happened and why it has happened because uh, they 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 have no clue of why the breakdown has happened. So now with, with the predictive maintenance, we have a capability to know what could have, what could happen in future. Instead of uh, uh, facing it in the real time, we can predict that this, this machine or this particular part of the machine can fail. So we can, we can predict the MTBF, which is a minimum time before failure. So just to uh, give uh, a more deeper example in this uh, predictive maintenance, say for example, there is a motor which is connected uh, and, and you see motors all around uh, in the factory. So critical, critical motors, we can have predictive maintenance supplied to it through, through various mechanism. Either we can attach a vibration sensor or we can do a cur current signature analysis, which is a more technical uh, terms. But through this, we can predict whether there, there, there can be a probable cause of failure of the bearing there is a uh, there is a problem in the coupling there is a problem in the mounting so we can predict each and every every part of the motor and and see uh, and take the corrective action beforehand rather than um, uh, un, un, unplanned downtime which are which are costing huge amount of money to the uh, to the manufacturers so uh, with the with the large amount of data which is getting collected uh, uh, due to industry 4.0 all the connected sensors all the data is going on cloud and with this information we can actually uh, generate overall e uh, equipment efficiency which is a very important uh, feature of uh, industry 4.0 wherein we can understand the human and machine interface the way the operator is using the machine what are the down times where what are the times when, when the machine is idle and why machine is idle uh, and and why the production of particular uh, unit of uh, uh, object is is uh, getting affected. So all of these things can be analyzed and we can understand the overall equipment efficiency so that over the period of time, as, as we get into Industry 4.0 implementation, over the period of time, we can understand and we can, we can improve the efficiency of the operator through training or the, the way he is uh, using the machine or even even optimizing the operation of the machine. So all this data is going to help in uh, generating a uh, uh, lot of uh, efficiency in the system as well as improving the, the, the uh, bottom line and the top line of the manufacturing unit. Another example is that since, since all the machines and all the uh, factories are connected, so it, it will improve the asset uh, tracking for, for the manufacturing uh, industry because all the equipments, machines, people, your manufactured item, all are connected. So you know where a particular asset is lying and what is the utilization of that particular asset. So there, there can be some more example using vision, vision technology, uh, like uh, efficient uh, parking systems, or it can have, uh, I would say, a feedback monitor system of a variety of uh, facilities where, where how people are using, where there is deficiency in, in certain supplies uh, at uh, in real time so so people can address the uh, address the the uh, 
the supplies at at that point of time so let's come to the advantages of uh, implementation of industry 4.0 my company amorphous technologies we have we have implemented lot of uh, uh, industry 4.0 solutions with with our our partners with our uh, direct clients in manufacturing and uh, uh, they are oems as well as manufacturing industries so this uh, industry 4.0 implementations bring brings lot of visibility overall in the product life cycle be it uh, uh, supply chain or uh, engineering uh, in deliveries in customer satisfaction in field service everyone ge- shares a a, a a common view of uh, the overall where where the whole uh, system is uh, working the way the system is working and brings in lot of information and effectiveness in the operation so and and it brings uh, the competitive advantage for for the manufacturing unit because they are ahead of their competitors in the technology space they can attract good talent Uh, in their industry because of the the new new age technologies uh, they are they are using this also bring in uh, in i would say um, advantages in terms of uh, financial uh, benefits because uh, you you can uh, have a good top line and bottom line uh, improvement because of uh, using uh, iot and implementation of internet of things so that you can bring in efficiency in the overall uh, system so to build a uh, sustainable and uh, scalable enterprise and manufacturing unit you need to adopt tools which can boost productivity boost collaboration and improve the overall efficiency of the system so are you ready for uh, industry 4.0 so thank you everyone uh, for listening to my talk and thank you dlc for giving me this opportunity